Alright, hello, this is my tutorial on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. And to start off, you are going to need to know some basic things about the Rubik's Cube. First off, there are six sides. And each side is supposed to be its own color, which you know that color is by the center. The centers never move in relation with each other. So if I have blue on top and red on front, yellow will always be on the right, no matter how I mix that up. So, you always need to know that red is always opposite of orange, yellow is always opposite of white, and blue is always opposite of green. Once you know that, then you can, well then you'll be able to understand some more about the cube. So, and then each face is also represented by a letter instead of saying instead of saying turn the front face 90 degrees you will just say F which is a lot easier so if you're holding the cube the face that is on front will be known as F the face on the top will be known as U the face on the right will be known as R the face on the left will be known as L, the face on the bottom will be known as D, and the face on the back will be known as B. And whenever you see one of those letters, that means that you turn the face 90 degrees clockwise. If you see one of those letters and a tick mark after it, that means turn it 90 degrees counterclockwise. If you see a, f if you see a letter that has two after it, that means turn it 180 degrees either way. Also, when it's when it's F, you want to make sure that's clockwise looking at that face. If it's D, you want to look at the face 90 degrees. If it's B, back face 90 degrees. Because if you're doing clockwise looking at it from here, you'd be turning it the wrong way. So that is basic notation for the Rubik's Cube. And you're going to be seeing those notations a lot in things called algorithms. And what an algorithm is, is it's a set of moves. And if applied enough times to the Rubik's Cube, it will solve itself again. So if I do R, U, R prime, U prime enough times, the cube will solve itself again. So then, now that you know basic notation, you can go on to scramble the cube. Alright, your, your cube is already probably scrambled, so minus two. And so what you're going to do is start, pick a face that you think you're comfortable with starting with pretty much every single time you solve. For me, it's the white center, or the white side that I want to start, that I start with. So what you do first is you want to build a cross by filling in these four edges. So, what we want to do is look around for a white edge. We see here that there's a white and red edge, and it's in the right face. We want to take it from the right face and move it into the down face. So we just simply move it down into the down face. Now what we want to do is line red up with the red center. No. No. Yes. Once it's lined up, we take it from the d down face and move it to the up face. So now we have the white and red edge in. This edge is also correct, white and orange. Here's another one, there's the blue and the white. So you line blue up with the blue center. Take it and move it into the top layer. But we have a problem. This is not correct, because the edge needs to be flipped around. So this is where your first algorithm comes in. F prime, U, left prime, L prime, U prime. And that edge should be switched around. Here we see, here's the green and white. Line it up at the green center. Turn it twice. We have that same problem again. F prime, U, L prime, U prime. And now we have the cross and one corner. 
So let's go ahead and do that on here. A little bit faster now. Green white. Down there. Green centers. Bring it up. Orange and white. Orange centers. Bring it up. White and blue. Red. Bring it down the down layer. Line up red. Turn it twice. And that is step one. Alright, now that you have the cross on one face of the cube, you, what you're going to do next is get this face all one solid color. So what we're going to do is having white on top, we are going to look in the down layer for a corner with the top color, which is white. So here we have white, red, and blue. So we are going to take red and blue and line this piece under the red and blue centers. No. Yes. Alright. And now, now you're going to have to want the piece in the front, right, down position. And you are going to do the algorithm R prime, D prime, R, D. That might not work at first. That might not work at first, but after enough times, so that corner will go in. So now, here we have the white, green, and orange. Put it under the white, green, orange, so it's in the front, right, down. Do R prime, D prime, R, D. 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 Now, as you see, that took a while. That took a, a couple times to get in there. So here we have the white, red, and green. Right, put it under. And now it's in. And now you have one face of the cube solved. So now I'm going to take this and do it on here again, but a little bit faster. White, red, and green under the centers. White, blue, and orange under the centers. White, green, and orange. White, blue, and red. And that is step two of solving the Rubik's Cube.